competition that puts the nation's best against each other and brings in thousands from all across the country, the BMX Nationals. But the event also has a huge impact on the local economy. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin King joins us to explain. Kevin? Well, Josh, the BMX Midwest Nationals not only bring in thousands of different competitors, it's bringing in extra capital for the Forest City. Soros Park was filled with over 1,200 BMX bikers from 34 different states, states as far as Virginia and even Texas, a BMX event that's bringing in additional capital for the Forest City. There's tons of people here, and we all have to pay for hotels and food, restaurants every night, and then we go to grocery stores every day to get our food for the races. Four nights in the hotel, and we're obviously eating out and you know buying things for the track. Uh, over the four days, we'll spend about $1,000 here this weekend. And Greg isn't alone. As the event brings in thousands of fans, fans that will spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on anything from food to clothing. Local uh, department stores, or if we haven't need any need for extra clothing, local restaurants two times a day, sometimes three, and that's just with my family of four. Greg from Charleston, South Carolina says his city makes most of its money off of tourism, so he's just returning the favor. I appreciate the fact that travel brings money into any community, um, and, and certainly I'm happy to contribute to the Rockford community as a tourist. Competitors say this event isn't just about competing, but that it's a great way for players to network and meet people from all over. You get to learn about their culture a little bit and to see how they, they race and, and they tell you about their tracks over in their country and how their competition is different from ours. It's awesome having people all over the country come to one place. I mean, some of my best friends are from different states and it's great that we can all gather in one place and just have a good time together. The Rockford Area Convention and Visitors Bureau estimates nearly 7,000 fans attend the event every single year and will spend over $400,000. Josh? All right, thanks, Kevin. What a great event there for the, for the city.